to my channel so I already did my brows I figured you know you guys have seen my brows so many times so let's move on to the Jaclyn Hill palette oh my god oh my god oh my god it is just so gorgeous you guys I am freaking obsessed with this palette the color range is insane and it's just oh I recommend if when they restock you get it unless you got it already you're very lucky so I'm going to put painterly on my eyes to prime and then after I rub that in I'm going to set it with the Kat Von D setting powder, the Locket setting powder in translucent. I'm new to this game and I'm freaking loving it. Then I'm using the M5, M511 brush to do this. So I'm just going to put a light layer of that over just so it sets it and it lasts all day. Now I'm going to use this shade, it's more of a caramel color, has a little bit of an orange undertone. I'm just going to put that in the crease and then I'm going into this fiery red shade with an E25 and I'm patting this into my crease so that it does not go all over the eye. I kind of want to keep it in the crease and not go too close to the brow bone so that is why I am patting this all over. Doing the same thing to the other eye. I actually really like this particular brush because it's not too fluffy and you can really control where you're putting the shadow. So after that I'm going to blend it back with the E40 and then I'm going in with this teal brush with the back of the same brush that I used before, the E25. This is for the lazy person that doesn't feel like cleaning their brushes. And I'm going to put this on the outer V area, patting it again because it does make the pigment a lot stronger and your placement a lot neater. So I'm going to put this on the outer V, pat that down, and just blend that out. This pigment, guys, is just insane. Like I really didn't have to work too hard, and that's what I love about this palette, is that you really didn't have to struggle with pigment. Like it just literally glided on like a dream. Then I'm putting on this copper color, and I'm putting that on the inner half of the lid, patting it with a brush I believe is from Coastal Sense, which is probably one of my favorite brushes. So if you guys are on a budget, I really do love Coastal Sense brushes and this is from a really long time ago so their brushes really really last. Going back in with the E25 just to make sure that blends all together. You don't want to see a super harsh line. So Now taking this pearl yellow color I'm going to put this in the inner corner and then we're gonna blend it in um, with the E21 this is from Sigma it's a smudge brush but it's perfect for the inner corner and then we're going in with this beautiful gold color oh my god the prettiest gold I've ever seen honestly and I'm putting that in between those two colors now for liner, you guys know I love my tattoo liner, but I actually lost it today and I'm kind of freaking out so I need to find that. But anyways, I'm going to make a nice wing with this. This is just the easiest liner and I know I say it all the time, but seriously, if you are looking for a liner to learn with, I really, really suggest this one because it's just that good. And I do my liner in literally two seconds and I promise you guys, when you practice this, with this liner, you will be a liner genius, I promise. So moving on, I'm putting on some mascara. This is my Tarte Tardis mascara, my favorite mascara ever. And I'm just coating those lashes. And then we're going to move on to the face. I'm using the Tarte Poreless Primer, putting that all over, rubbing it in. And then for foundation, I'm using the Becca Perfecting Aqua Luminous Foundation, which I've been using for forever. I just can't get rid of it. It's just so awesome. I just bought another bottle recently, and I just, I still haven't ran out of this bottle. And this bottle has lasted me like a couple of months. Even though I've been switching back and forth with different foundations, this one's just so good. For concealer, I mean, 
Do I have to say it? Tarte Shape Tape. I'm using medium and then I'm also going to mix a little bit of tan in it. You'll see me do that in a little bit. But I'm just highlighting these areas and concealing. These concealers are just so great to highlight and conceal at the same time. I'm just... I haven't found a concealer that really competes with it. It's just insane. It's like an epidemic. Crazy epidemic. So now I'm blending this in with the 3D HD Blender from Sigma. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a code for Sigma. It is below. It's code Gianna, and you can get some percentage off of your order. Moving on to contour, I'm using the Deep Honey Clay Stick Foundation by Tarte. And putting that on my cheekbones. Put it on the forehead, contouring the nose. This is just the most genius contour slash foundation ever. It's for every skin tone, I just love it. We're gonna contour the neck too. For anyone with dull chin palms, I really, really recommend that. Um, unfortunately, my camera died when I was blending it, so let's just move on. For baking and setting, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D powder again. If I'm talking weird, you guys, I'm so sorry. My jaw is kind of locked, and I'm kind of dealing with that. Hopefully, I get that fixed tomorrow with the dentist, but for now, my jaw is just really, really weird, and it's making me talk weird. So, moving on. Now using a pencil brush from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, I'm putting this fiery red color on the lower lash line, and I just love the contrast that it created. It's just freaking, ugh, so sexy. For lashes, we're gonna use Toots Lashes by Gigi Bell Lashes. This is my lash line, you guys. If you didn't know, I'm sure you have, because I'm literally just so obsessed with it. I'm gonna put these on. And we still have free shipping for anyone in the US if you are interested in buying them. I have the link below, ugbelllashes.com. You guys, best lashes I've ever used. Not just because they're my line, honestly. It's just the best, best kind I've ever used, seriously. Anyways, I'm going to wipe away any excess powder with the Spotlight Brush from Sigma. And then for bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with an F23 from Sigma, best bronzer brush ever, ever. So I'm going to blend this all out and bronze the neck as well. For blush, I'm actually using this Sunlit Bronzer by Becca. It's called Bali Sands, but for my skin tone, it's so pretty as a blush, but it's actually a bronzer for darker skin tones. For my skin tone, it's beautiful. Now I'm just coating the lashes lightly and then putting on some mascara on the lower lashes as well with the same Tardis mascara. For highlight, I felt like I just had to do it for Jaclyn. I'm going to use Champagne Pop by Becca. Just so beautiful. This is an old Jaclyn tutorial. Mm -hmm. But this is just an amazing highlighter. I fall in love with it every time I use it. I'm using a Morphe M501 brush to put this on, but seriously, I don't even have to like worry about the pigment of it. And I love Becca for that because their highlighters are just one of the best highlighters I've ever used in my life. Now, for lips, I decided to try out Bronze Shimmer before I put it, before I filmed it. So, I'm going to use Hover Liner by MAC to kind of outline my lips. And then I'm going to go over it again with bronze shimmer. I used to think this color was like for old ladies. I remember being at Mac and being like, no one's gonna wear this color, but look at me now, I'm wearing it. Unfortunately, right after this, I dropped the freaking lipstick on the floor and it smushed a little bit. So, that stinks. But I'm just lining that out. And then to set this makeup, I'm using the All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And then I decided to put a little bit of gloss on and see-through gloss. I don't know if they reformulated it or whatever, but freaking insane. I love the way it feels on my lips. Lip glass used to be really, really sticky, but this one is just heavenly. It kind of reminds me of their mineralized glasses. But that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I'm probably going to call it some kind of mermaid-ish tutorial, but I... Give the Jaclyn Hill palette a 10 out of 10. It's just amazing. Anyone who's been hating on it, I really don't understand how you can hate on this palette. It's just amazing. But please comment below what you want to see next. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And thumbs it up if you have enjoyed this video. 
also hit the bell so you know when my videos go live. But anyways, you guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye, guys. Bye.